So can you tell me more about Cursor? I hadn't heard about that. So I've been using Copilot and then Cursor, which is like Copilot++. plus plus. In fact, I think that's the feature name. Cursor is the version of VS Code with the same compatibility, but its version of Copilot is much better for doing inline changes. Very often I find I change one line, I decide to do more logging, one section of code, I go to the next section. It's already decided that I probably want to add that additional logging on all the other key operations. Compared to Copilot, it has better accept or reject semantics as well. So it's a very nice tool. I'm very happy to have it. But just like all these AI tools, even when they're brilliant, you have to have real clear oversight. And another subscription. <laughs> Anyone else using Cursor? I'm not, but I'm using a different thing. Yeah, I'm not that impressed with Copilot. To me, over time, it's become worse, which seems like the opposite of what the intention is. So I've been trying to kick the tires on a bunch of different tools, and I will probably settle on one. But this one's been the most promising so far for me. Super Maven, it is a much faster like pilot experience. Like that illustration that they're showing you there is pretty accurate to how fast it is to do code completions and things like that compared to Copilot, which seems unbearingly slow compared to now that I've used the Super Maven for a while. And another subscription, of course. It's interesting because it's not like I have five subscriptions to accounting software or chat services or telephones. But when it comes to AI, you end up subscribing to this, to this, to this, and there's so much overlap. It's interesting. You owe a book report on at least two or three other services you've installed in our GitHub organization. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do.